In this video, we're going to make sense of decimals, conceptually. Now, one of the big things when students are beginning to make sense of decimals when they're introduced in fourth grade is that we want them to make this connection that fractions and decimals are both connected. So what might that look like? Well, when we begin to introduce fractions, we start off with halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. Then, when we move beyond these unit fractions, we begin to introduce in fourth grade, we introduce fifths, tenths, and twelfths. But here, when we begin to build this understanding of decimals, we're really going to use this idea of tenths and scale it up. So as students begin to explore decimals, they might look at this and see it as six tenths, as a fraction. And they begin to see that fraction notation and decimal form can also be same or equal. What's the same, what's different between these two decimal squares? Well, you might notice that they both have the same quantity colored in. But students now make this connection that 6 tenths and 61 hundredths are the same. It's this conceptual understanding that we really need students to be able to make. Now, we might not always use decimal squares, so maybe we connect back to a tool that students used in the early grades, a 10 frame. Well, here you can see that if a 10 frame is the whole, we have 1 tenth of our 10 frame colored in. But then this idea of decimals is that we can keep breaking down a unit into smaller units. So here we have one one hundredth of the 10 frame. Lots of connections here are needed for students, and it's important that they have this opportunity to play around with decimal squares and 10 frames as they're building this conceptual understanding. So then when we get into operations of decimals, we can use that associative property or in kindergarten and first grade, it's like make a 10. But here we can apply and scale up that thinking where we take one tenth from the six tenth, give it to the nine tenths to make a whole, and now we have one whole 10 frame and five tenths of our next 10 frame. And this same understanding, we don't need to be lining up the decimals. Here when we're adding seven tenths and 55 hundredths, we can take three tenths from our 55 hundredths, give it to our seven tenths to make a whole, and we're left with one and 25 hundredths. And there's your need to know.